What's the connection yeah. in your mind, do you think, the church sees between the resurrection and divine mercy? Well, um, you know, Jesus' resurrection uh, clearly points to the fact that he can give us eternal life, right? Uh, as St. Paul keeps you know, talking about again and again in 1 Corinthians 15, whereas uh, when we talk about divine mercy, we're really talking about the passion of Jesus, and we're talking about his desire to give us eternal life. So he will give us eternal life. You know, that his, you know, the divine mercy, you know, to forgive us when we, uh, you know, sincerely ask him for that forgiveness and healing, that he's going to do it. And his passion is the proof of it. So we say that divine mercy is about Christ being willing to give us eternal life. And of course, uh, the resurrection is the clear evidence that he can give us eternal life. And not just any eternal eternal life, but eternal life in glory, eternal life in the spirit, and eternal life in love. So, uh, you know, it's, it's very, very complementary, mm -hmm. um, you know, the will and the, the, the capacity, the can, uh, come together, uh, you know, the hope, uh, you know, um, that, that, that we have in the divine mercy, and of course, um, you know, Christ's ability to deliver on the promise as he appears to his disciples in glory.